Welcome back, folks, to... There are a bunch of really powerful golems over there. And I mean really powerful. I don't even know if I can physically beat these things. These things seem way too powerful. Way, way too powerful. However, I will give it my all. Deacon? Can you cast a spell on me? Uh, haste. On me. Deacon, do it! Hey! I don't even need to cast it, because he knows it. This is not going to work. Hello. And you're going to summon the golems, and then problems will emerge. The music's certainly apt, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Music's definitely out. I need to just try my utmost best. Oh my word, these guys hurt. That barely injures them. We could maybe kill one of them like this. Oh no! Time. I really needed more time than that. Oh my Jiminy Cricket. I don't even think I can physically defeat these guys. Wait, I could put down the I could put down the crystal, couldn't I? I could put down the crystal. That might do the trick. That is a plan. I could put down the crystal. The crystal could hurt them. Or at the very least could buy me some time. <laughs> if I go here... If I drop the crystal right now... some time bought. Just a little. Ha! Ah, you can't get away from this thing. Closing in. It's alright. Ha! Ah, you're one of them! Oddly well. Yeah, well now is I actually need to hit the darn thing. Yeah, we're black. No, 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 no. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I need to cast heal on myself. Then I need to use the golem slower on this thing. Look at me use tactics. Look at me use tactics. Tactics will defeat a go a mithril golem. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Near death. Knockdown miss. 19 damage. Yes! Ha uh ha -huh. ha! Marvelous! Now that was a success! And I barely 
got hurt. Excellent! A good time was had by all, except for the mithril golems, who are now horribly dead. Why do I get the feeling that the fact that I killed those mithril golems means that whatever is beyond here is even worse than a mithril golem? What is on these? A golem seal? Uh, okay. I have no idea what they do. I have no idea what they do. Come on, people. Thank you. I really don't like the fact that there's a really big area over here. This, uh, this screams of horrible. And I get the feeling I might not want to have this weapon out anymore. Because <laughs> this is screaming final bossy. And since all the golems were on level 2 and 1, I get the feeling this is not going to be a golem. I cannot. Oh. Ah, bust your good. Um. Ah, oh, ah, oh, right. Okay. You need the golem seals. You need the golem seals to open the door. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I suppose it means that you don't accidentally open the door without dealing with them. You have to deal with the mithril golems in one way or another before you can actually defeat what's beyond. I hope I can defeat what's beyond. I really do. Does that open the door? It did! Oh good! The Maker's here! I knew that there would be something horrible on the other end. <laughs> Wait. Demi-Lich is a wiser- Oh, he's a Demi-Lich. Oh, no. That's bad. Demi-Liches are even more powerful than Liches. They are effectively half-gods. Uh, Demi-Liches can be horrifying. Dig it? Mm -hmm. I need you to cast- No, forget that. I need to cast spells on myself first. We are going to be fighting a... Oh dear. A lich. I am not going to like this. I need you to cast a spell on me. Haste. On me. Why do I get the feeling this is going to suck? Ooh. There be lots of magic here, and Deacon senses it. It blow us all up. Maybe that not be good. No. A floating skull hovers in the air, making the ultimate fate of the Maker ready apparent. It's become a demi lich. Its malevolent eye in your direction addresses you with a rasping voice you hear only in your head. The very words it speaks seem to twist and writhe in your mind. I do not recognize you as one of my creations. What manner of creature are you that you would invade my inner sanctum? Who are you who dares to intrude upon my work? My name is Barry Coleman. Once I was called Alcigard, known to many as the Maker, but now I have transcended the weakness of my flesh and body, and I'm not what I once was. Yeah, how you was nothing but floating skull. Do you wonders? You float all the time? Or maybe sometime you just roll around on floor? A cobalt? I have not seen such a creature for many centuries. I cannot say I regret the absence of such creatures. Cobalt's are flawed. All living creatures must be, even my children. You mean the golems? Long ago I learned the weakness of flesh. Friends and family will betray you, but the fault is not theirs. It is a weakness of the body that keeps them from perfection. Once I understood this, I vowed to create a perfect being. A construct built without weakness or flaw. Could do what an imperfect creature knew could do not. So I created my golem children. I began the mindless vessels. In time I created began to create techniques with minds of their own. I have lost actually my thing there. But even those creatures were imperfect. 
My arms were flawed. They were weak. It was weak, aging. How could an imperfect maker create a perfect being? I had doubts and fears. They were afraid of change, afraid to evolve. The free will I'd given them was a weakness. I should have destroyed them, but I too was imperfect. But your golems have evolved since you came down here. Perhaps, but they're still inherently flawed. I built them before I truly understood what had to be done. They will never achieve perfection. They are therefore expendable. Once I became a demi lich, much of what had clouded my thinking was stripped away. I tried to make my golems living creatures, but of course the living creatures are themselves flawed. What still has to be done? The demi lich shudders, and you hear it sigh. Conversation is a waste of time, a sad remnant of the imperfect being I once was. There is no purpose here. I could not possibly understand the magnitude of what I am about to achieve. You are flawed, imperfect. You must therefore be destroyed before your very presence here taints my experiments. He is going to attack me. And he is probably going to kick my butt. He just cast fear on me. While I am frightened, my team are probably going to die. Can you... can I stop being feared? <laughs> Great, I'm spending most of this gun. Nice. <laughs> I really like to not be feared. <laughs> no, 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 but seem being feared is uh my lot in life. <laughs> If I'm going to do this, I need one last spell cast on me. Where's spell resistance? There we go. Oh, there be lots of magic here. And Deacon senses it. Give it up! Throw us all yeah. up, please. That yeah. will be good. He's not going to go down easy, is he? Yes, stones can cast on him. First thing to cast is greater dispelling. That should help. I am not even hurt. was that? Probably something horrifying, like, uh, uh, probably weird, or just murder your face the spell? I'm not a fan of murder your face the spell. We'll try it one more time. I am not gonna like this, am I? There be lots of magic here, and Deacon senses it. It blow us all up. Maybe that not be good. <laughs> I actually hurt him for one point of damage. Awesome. Dead is so so vile. Oh hit it! Hit it! There's 136 hit points from. Okay. We need something big here. What implosion kill it? Seems like a silly question. It's worth a go. <coughs> no, spell resistant. Fair enough. So 
destruction, maybe? Oh, destruction hurts it! Ha! Destruction did hurt it. That didn't. Ow. That hurt. Hmm. Kill him. I should deal enough damage to get it to barely injured. I get the feeling this one might be a little beyond my capabilities. When we come back, folks, I'll have a look and see how we can defeat the Demi-Lich, if we can. Catch you later. See you then. Later.